Hi guys, it's Ami, and today I have the BTS B Essential Albums. Yay! So these are different from the deluxe version. Obviously, like the deluxe version was $53, and these were a lot cheaper at um, $22, I think. I don't know for sure. I will make sure to double check that. And I like these because look at these stickers. These are so cute. This sticker says featuring Billboard Hot 100 number one single Dynamite in Life goes on. Oh, look at them flexing. It's what they deserve. And then it says 63rd Grand Awards nominee. Yay! I love that for them. The only thing I'm sad about is that I love the sticker so much and I'm sad that it's on the plastic because I want to like keep the stickers like to commemorate them. But at the same time, like I also like that it's not on the actual physical album because then it will kind of ruin it or whatever, you know? And um, there was a lot of issues with like the physical releases of these or whatever. Like they didn't release on the day of. Usually I'll pre-order some online and then have them shipped to me. But then I'll also like go to Target or something and buy them physically in person. But for some reason, these were not released physically in stores I don't know why but like none of the targets had them at all they were only selling them online to be shipped and they wouldn't be arriving until like weeks later and then the Barnes and Noble closest to my house when I checked in the morning like at 9 a.m. it said in stock I was like bet I'm gonna drive over there and pick up the albums but I was like busy so I didn't check until like noonish and then when I checked on noon it said it was out of stock so they probably only had like two and then <laughs> someone picked them up and then they were out of stock I kept hearing a lot of stories about them not being available anywhere and that certain stores only had like 10 copies or something so I don't know what the issue was and a lot of people are worried about like them not counting towards like sales for the week and stuff so I don't really know what the issue with that is but I got these from Barnes and Noble I got them from Barnes and Noble because Target wasn't gonna ship and wasn't gonna arrive till like way later and I as I've said before I'm very impatient so I got them from Barnes and Noble because they got here sooner so yeah I'm going to go ahead and open these and try and preserve these stickers so I can like save them and like use them in my scrapbooking and stuff and my k-pop journaling so yeah okay so here are the B albums with without the packaging. You can see they don't have the stickers on them. This one's a little bit dented, but it's okay. Here are the sides. I really like how this is packaged. Oh, it comes out like both sides, I think. Yeah, you can push it out from this side or this side. Okay, that's cool. So there's that. I really like the sides. For comparison, let me show you the size comparison of the Deluxe album. So here is the size of the deluxe album. And then here's the size of the essential album, just for comparison sake, but they're obviously styled the same and everything. Typically I always get at least two albums because I always get one for myself and then one for my niece who's like 11. So obviously she can't buy her own album. So as you know, the rich single aunt, I always get her her own album. And I also did join a, a group order for the Weavers pre-order gifts. And I obviously signed up to like get Yugi. So the pre-order gifts for Weavers were only available for international fans, no one from the US. So obviously I had no choice but to join a group order because I have no international address. So I ordered two more as well just to kind of increase my chances of the pulls that I get, you know, for the random PCs. But for the pre-order gift, I did sign up to get Yungis. So like I'm for sure getting Yungis because that's what I joined the group order for. I don't know when those will get here. I just didn't want to wait to film this video for however long it takes for her to like ship to me and stuff. So anyways, let's open the first one. So it comes with the photo book, a folded poster, and then the CD. This one doesn't have like their faces on it and stuff. And it has like the chorus on here as well, etched in. Let me open up the poster. I don't know if I'll be able to get it in frame. Okay, so here is the poster. I can't get it all in frame, unfortunately. Oh, maybe can I? There we go. Here is the entire poster. It's different from the poster that was in the deluxe album. And obviously I'm gonna be referring to the deluxe album. So if you haven't seen that unboxing, I will link it up above so you can see. Just kind of to comp oops, that's my email. Just kind of to like compare the differences. I like the deluxe album version poster better. I have it actually up in my room right now. It's so cute. They're wearing like suits and stuff or whatever, but this is the other group picture. So this is the poster that comes with the essential album. And I like that it has, you know, a different option because I would hate to have bought both albums and then still get the same poster. At least you're getting something different. So that's cool about that. And now I'm just going to be flipping through this pretty quickly. Oh wait, let me, let me pull out the... Oh no! Okay, let me pull out the cards. I am not looking. I hid the photo cards underneath the outbox. So now let's go through the photo book. Oh my God, this is so cute. I love this like lens view. I think it's like the fisheye kind of lens. It's so cool. And I have already mentioned before, I love Hobie's room. I'm gonna try and go through this quickly. Ah. 
<laughs> Why is this page dirty? I do not like that. So pretty. Look at this angel. June's room is so simplistic. I love him. Oh, I just felt something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank God I caught it before I accidentally revealed it. This is cool. They're so cute. Look at that beautiful man. Oh my God, look at him. Oh my God, he's literally breathtaking. Now we have the track list. The lyrics pages, one of my main criticisms of BTS is that their lyric pages are so boring, but I feel like because the whole packaging for B is very simplistic and black and white, obviously like half the photo book was black and white, it, you know, makes sense in this particular photo book. And then here are their things twos. I wonder if they're different from their other ones. And then here we have their credits. I just like love looking at their names being listed in the credits. There's A&R, Park Jin, Visual Creative, Kim Taehyung, Album Design, Kim Nam Joon, Production Coordination, Kim Suk Jin, Min Yoon Gi, Jung Ho Sook, Jung Jung Gu. I just, we love to see it. We love to see it. So that is the photo book. Next, there's like a shit ton of photo cards and I believe one is like a full OT7 set and then also a random one. I don't know for sure. I don't tend to read descriptions of products that I buy very closely. So that's my bad, but they're just like piled up. So let me just, these two are black. Oh, they're all black. I'm an idiot. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They all say B. Yeah, these are all horizontal except this one. So we'll save this one for last. Let's just wing it. The first one is Jimin, looking beautiful as always. These are so crusty. Like you see the frayed edges and stuff. Second one is <gasps> Yungi. Oh my gosh, look at him. I don't, I'm not a fan of these frayed edges and like not very good produced quality. Like you see this, I don't like that. Next one is JK. Next one, Hobie. I love Hobie so much. It's so bright and colorful. Next one is Tay. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. I like that these are closer up, like they're up close, not the full body, but it's still like them laying down and stuff. Next one. Jin, look at how beautiful he looks. Then the last one is Namjoon. Okay, and then for this one, I'm assuming it's OT7 card. I don't know if it's random or not. I guess we'll see. Ready, set, go. <gasps> ah, I got Namjoon. Look at how beautiful he is. He's so cute. <laughs> I love this picture of him. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I believe you get an OT7 set plus a random card and one of the random cards could be a group card. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna open up the other one and see what card I pulled. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I pulled Namjoon. He looks so cute and so pretty there. So yay. Okay, here is the next set of cards and it already has the random card up top, so. So let's see who I pulled. I'm really hopeful I get Yungi or a group card. I would love a group card too. So let's see, ready, set, go. <gasps> Jin. Okay, I pulled Jin looking so beautiful. Oh my gosh. <gasps> He's so pretty. 
So of the two albums that I got, I pulled Jin and Namjoon, which is so cool. I hardly ever pull Namjoon for anything, so I'm really happy that I pulled him and I really love this picture. And then Jin looking beautiful as always. And I still have two more albums coming in. So I really hope that I pull Yoongi in at least one of the other two albums. My head just told me, oh, just collect OT7, but I do not, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. So whoever else I pull, hopefully get Yoongi. And then whoever else my niece gets to pick, whoever she wants to keep her bias is jungkook so hopefully i do pull yungi and jungkook if not we'll just decide amongst ourselves who we want to keep so that is it for my very quick b essential album unboxing i really like that this came with a full set of ot7 cards plus a random card i think that was something that was like super cool as opposed to like the deluxe edition only having the ot7 set plus two group cards which obviously was really cool or whatever as far as which one i think you should get more it really honestly doesn't matter they're both both of the deluxe and the essential editions are pretty similar obviously with the deluxe edition you get an additional um, making of book which is like a mini photo book and then you get a lyrics poster i have the lyrics poster up in my room also i really loved love loved the posters in the deluxe edition like i am not a poster person but i put both of the b deluxe edition posters up in my room because they were just so beautiful and i loved like the little photography pages that they included with a little frame or whatever like to me the fact that they included yungi's painting like oh my god i want to cry again because it's so fucking cute so yeah that's like the differences between the deluxe edition and the essential edition i liked both both are really cool i liked both sets of photo cards that they were pretty similar but these are just like a little bit more zoomed in on their faces and then the selfie cards like oh these are so freaking cute i love these so much and i really hope i pull yoongi in my other two albums so yeah that was just a very quick unboxing please continue to stream life goes on on youtube on spotify wherever you stream your songs you know the are coming up soon so we need all the exposure we can get you know this is for the Grammys. Do you big fat white nasty smelling fat bitch? Why you took your motherfucking schedule with your trifling dirty white racist ass big fat bitch on the lost body ass bitch? I'm coming up there and I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you bitch. If don't get caught calling me today cause I'm gonna come up there unexpected and wait on your motherfucking ass bitch. I'm coming to beat the fuck out of you bitch. Cause you did that on time to do it your aunt you racist white ass. So yeah, just make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and let me know what else you want to see in the comments. I have lots of videos already filmed, but I have more than I want to film. So just let me know what else you want to see from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.